hey everyone so today we are going to see how to find angle between the two surfaces okay so whenever you have two surfaces say f and g are two surfaces this is the formula that one uses okay so what is the formula it is cos inverse of grad f this over here is nothing but the dot product and here you have the normal multiplication okay this is our usual multiplication so this is the formula now here why do you have the gradient into the picture that one can ask okay so i'll come to it so what is the question the question is you have two surfaces over here what are the two surfaces so let me call my f surface as x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 and let me call my another surface as g which is x square plus y square minus 3 minus z okay so f equal to 0 and g equal to 0 these two are the surfaces and I want to find the angle between these two surfaces. Okay, now coming back to this. Now, if you recall, when you have two curves and I want to find the angle between the two curves at the intersection point, what do we do? You draw the tangent line with respect to one curve, you draw the tangent line with respect to another curve, and you see this angle. Whatever the angle is, then this angle between the tangent vector is nothing but the angle between the curves. Okay. Now we have two surfaces. Now suppose have, this is my surface S1 and S2. There are three, these are 3D surfaces. But yeah, I mean 2D, so I'm not able, I'm not good at pictures. So you can just imagine these two surfaces. And now you have one tangent plane to this surface S1 and another tangent plane to the surface S2. Now question is, which line you will take on this tangent planes to conclude that the angle between the tangent lines is nothing but the angle between the surfaces. Okay, that's what the question is. Which particular lines you will choose? That's what the question is. So, to work out this problem, one can observe that the angle is minimized when the lines are perpendicular at the intersection. Okay, so you take those two lines which are perpendicular at the intersection. And this minimal angle is uniquely defined. So now we know that gradient of a surface is always perpendicular to it, right? Gradient is always perpendicular to the surface. So the two gradients are perpendicular to the intersection, okay? And thus the angle between the planes is also the angle between the gradient vectors, okay? So that's the reason we take gradient over here. Now in our case, what is the gradient of f? It is f with respect to f, x, f with respect to y, and f with respect to z. And what is gradient of g f with respect to x f with respect to y and f with respect to z now what is the point given to us the point given to us is 2 minus 1 2 so wherever you have x y z you replace it by 2 minus 1 2 so what i will get 4 minus 2 4 and what will i get here is 4 minus 2 and minus 1 now if i take the dot product what is grad f dot grad g so dot product is nothing but 16 plus 4 minus 4 which is nothing but 16. What is mod of grad f? It is nothing but square root of 4 square plus minus 2 square plus 4 square which is root of 36 which is nothing but 6. And what is gradient of g? Square root of 4 square plus 4 plus 1 which is square root of 21. So if I use these three values in the formula what do I get? I get theta equals cosine inverse of the dot product upon 6 root 21. And now if I cancel by 2, 2 is a and this. So therefore the angle between the given two surface is nothing but 8 upon 3 root 21. So I hope this is clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.